Hi everyone, in today's video on the Hittites, we will briefly discuss the successor to King Hattusili I, Mursili I. Upon the death of Hattusili in circa 1620 BC, his young grandson and adopted heir, Mursili, came to the throne of Hatti. Once he had come of age, the new king of Hatti continued the military campaigns started by his grandfather against his neighbours, especially against the kingdom of Yamhad in northern Syria. Unlike Hattusili, Mursili was able to take in war the capital of Yamhad, Halpa, or modern day Aleppo. With this success, Yamhad ceased to be a kingdom, though the Hittites apparently made no attempts at this time to control the region which left a power vacuum that would soon be filled by the nearby enemies of the Hittites, the Hurrians, which became a persistent thorn in the side of future Hittite rulers. The military achievements of Mursili were however far from over with the destruction of Yamhad, and his biggest accomplishment, and most surprising one, occurred in circa 1595 BC. When, after destroying Yamhad, he led his army hundreds of miles to the southeast into central Mesopotamia, and led a surprise assault against the city of Babylon, which he both destroyed and looted. This victory brought about the fall of the old Babylonian period, which had been founded by the famous lawgiver Hammurabi over two centuries earlier. The cause for Mursili's unexpected march on faraway Babylon and its destruction is not clear, as when the city was taken and looted, the Hittites immediately left Babylon and made no attempts to control it. It is speculated that besides the more obvious rewards of great riches, captives and glory that were gained from taking the city, the Hittites may have chosen to ally themselves with a new people group that were growing in power within Mesopotamia, known as the Kassites, who shortly after the destruction of Babylon and its old ruling dynasty, established themselves as the new rulers over the region. It is possible therefore that the Hittites may have seen the Kassites as being a useful new ally against their enemies, like the Hurrians to the north, when compared to the old rulers of Babylon. Whatever the case may be, Mursili was not able to enjoy the fruits of these conquests for very long, as only a few years after his return to the land of Hatti and Hattusa, the conqueror of Yamhad and Babylon was assassinated by his brother-in-law named Hantili in circa 1590 BC. Hantili assumed the throne of Hatti and appears to have justified his actions by claiming that the destruction of Babylon had made the gods sick. Whatever Hantili's motives were, his murder of Mursili brought about a period of political instability and a series of assassinations within the ruling family of Hatti, which we will learn about in more detail in the next video. Until then, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more new videos on Fridays.